Hello mate and welcome to this very quick workaround video. I've noticed in the comments that a few people are struggling with ghost lights in that when they create a geometric object like this and then they adjust the surface properties and they give it an emissive property, let's just do this and then we'll give ourselves a nice big reading like that. A lot of people are struggling when they go to edit the cutout, G the, uh, cutout opacity to very low to make the object invisible in the scene what they're reporting is that the light is actually becoming dimmer or in some cases completely disappearing so let's have a quick look at this then i'm just going to check this out we're going to create a cube we'll make it three meters and then we're going to move it back in our nope that's the wrong object let's move the cube instead we'll move that back like so that we've got our light source there. So if we jump into NVIDIA IRA preview mode, what you can see is that currently I've got the scene being lit by the HDRI as well. So I'm just going to quickly in my render settings and my environment settings, turn that to scene only. And what we can see is that my sphere is illuminating the cube quite nicely. But what we're finding in newer versions, more recent versions of DAS Studio is that the cutout opacity is actually changing the luminosity settings of the object as well. Now, there's a couple of workarounds that you can do for this. One of them is to change. We go back to our C tab and select our sphere. We can try reducing our cutout opacity slightly less. And as you can see, 0, 0.00 is not going to work. So. We can adjust it by try changing that property, but if you're not having any luck with that, there is an alternative method. It is not the most desirable method, I will grant you, but it will work. What we can do is we can add a point light into our scene. So I'm just going to turn off our sphere and our scene will be encased in darkness. What we'll do is now we're going to add a point light to our scene by clicking on the icon up the top there and we'll just go to default levels. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up a smidge like there. And you can see it's actually creating a little bit of light already. What we can do is in the parameters tab for our point light, what you're going to see is a light geometry selection. We can change that to sphere. And then we can change our settings. Each unit in this case is a centimeter. So we want to change our diameter to 100 centimeters. That creates us a, a, a sphere, which you can see has now got a light around it like so and then obviously we're going to have to change our luminosity change that let's add a zero to our luminosity there it's a little bit bright but we need more we need more i'm actually going to add another zero to that and as you can see we're now getting into the realms of roughly where we were with our previous light source that's getting better it's still not perfect but it's better and then obviously if we turn off render emitter, we can see that the light source is now invisible. And we have this object's icon here that shows us there's a light source there. Now, what is going to happen is you're going to find that if you're reflecting or lighting into a glossy surface, you are still going to see the reflection of the object. So if you are suffering from that issue, then what you can do is take your cube surface, go into base and drop the glossy laid weight right off. And then as you can see, the reflection is removed again this is not a perfect workaround but it is a workaround you still have a ghost light you see, which is effectively a geomet geometric object which has light from it and you get this icon of where the light source is so not quite a ghost light but as close as we can get to it with the issue that you've got thanks very much for watching that guys i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below and i will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye